Hello and welcome to God 365's English News Bulletin. I am Maithili and these are the headlines. Huge pile of garbage catches fire at Margao right in the municipality's backyard. Car and bike gutted in another unrelated fire in Navilim. Over 200 workers from AAP and BJP detained in Delhi after party workers clashed at Delhi's DDU Marg. Security tightened in the nation's capital. Cops decked with riot gear. Pleasant weather to continue in the state over the weekend. Skies to remain clear. Fog likely during the wee hours of the day. And now for the news in detail. A troubling scene unfolded in Margao as a massive heap of garbage caught fire on Friday afternoon, ironically behind the Margao municipality. Fire officials stated that two fire engines were used to douse and control the blaze. According to the fire department, they received a report about the fire at 3.40 p.m. on Friday. Firefighters promptly rushed to the scene, aiming to extinguish the blaze. However, the cause of the fire remains unknown. The electricity department also arrived at this site to switch off a nearby transformer, which was in close proximity of the raging fire. The department faced difficulties accessing the transformer due to the massive pile of garbage obstructing their path. Margao Municipality Councillor Camilo Barreto called the incident an eye opener for the MMC, alleging that no action had been taken on the increasing garbage dump that caught fire. Municipality Fatlan, well, not even uh, 50 meters of waste person, Italy Fatlan, Jet Dam, Gelabore, Poop, William Dam, Gunnachile, and it is a kind of action. I think as suddenly who's padlock, who's padlock, Gatlock, and Gona, even Gatlock, and the last person bore Gatlamunda. Kida Munda bore Gatla. अथॉरिटी बसले उ आणि आज ते न्यू वॉल जबाब होतले आज आमचे जे इलेक्ट्रिक डिपार्टमेंट इतले त्रास झाले आम्हाला इतले डाम केला ते तो आम्हाला ट्रान्सफॉर्मर पासून बंद करपा तंग त्रास झाले असे करून जे परिस्थिती आमची म्युनिसिपॅलिटी दोन दोनले हंगा की सांगपाचे आमचे मडगाव हे मडगाव हंगा हे सिटीया भीतर असे डाम करप म्हणजे खूप आहे असे जापा जायना आजे आमचे आता आता तरी आता तरी आमचे म्युनिसिपॅलिटीचे अथॉरिटीची दळ उघडपा जाय आणि हंगा ते सगळे काढून Congress leader and former Margao mayor Savio Kutino lashed out at the Margao Municipal Council, stating that MMC's waste management is in complete shambles. Waste management, 
टोटल इन शेबल्स टोटल इन डिस्ग्रेसफुल सामा मेरे मंथ पॉइंट फाइव क्रोर्स एवरी मंथ मोटर लोकल टैक्स पेयर लोक दिता असल धुंवर टॉक्सिक वेस्ट आज टॉक्सिक फ्यूम्स ब्रीफ कर दिता महीन इतने पैस मोड़न आता तंका कसल पाशे तो एक ये ना मैनेजमेंट ना हजे आने प्लस संगा मैं एवरी टाइम हाईकोर्टा यूज करता हाईकोर्ट ये बाजू घेवन जाए जाए तक टेंडर कर कॉन्ट्रेक्ट्स ये दिता सगले सगले भाषे ये जता आज संगा मैं कित लॉस जो आता कित डस्टबीन गए को पैसे न्यू डस्टबीन दिए आता ये को पैसे हजे पैली जो उलो आज इतने नी वो एक हम सीटी दिस्ती पड़ता पुण एवरी वॉर्ड एक एक वॉर्ड में दोन दोन तीन तीन कड़े असले ये आसले डिग आ ऑफ ये ड्राई वेस्ट आने कई बी सपोज उज लगे ट्रांसफॉर्मर लासन वह ट्रांसफॉर्मर संगा इवन सद्या उज लगे ट्रांसफॉर्मर लासन गए तो ये भाषे ये चलता कहीं ना कसले मैनेजमेंट ना आज विचार पास होता है मॉडल मार्ग हमें मड़गे आमदार जे जे मॉडल मार्ग एवरी टाइम छाती बोलान सकता कौंसल आप कौंसल तुझे आसन कि मेटा मड़गकार मेट कि संदीप तुवेकार मनीष परब एंड ओमकार देशप्रभु फॉर गोवा थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव इन अनदर फायर इंसिडेंट A car and a bike were gutted in a fire at Navilim's Dongrim area earlier today. While no injuries were reported, the owners say that they have faced a loss of about 15 to 20 lakhs. Fire officer Herculean Gill Sosa, who responded to the call, gave further details. We have received information mm. from our fire control room headquarters, Penjim, mm. that uh, the building, flat, you know, like ground class two story building, that mm. was burnt up. So immediately, Dongri uh, Navili. So immediately, our car is turned out. Hello, our officer, our ONG staff, hello, three sir, our down are here. So immediately, you want to know, police, hello, take, then so, yeah, car is turned out. गैरेज 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 सेंटर बंद आने ओनर लॉक आने बंद ना इमिजिएटली ओपन के गाड़ी आने बुलेट जो मिसता तो उजो प्रोपगेटेड फ्रॉम द बुलेट क्या मुखार इंजिन गाड़ी क्लासले जाने उजो पेड़ जो मुखार इंजिन साइडीन ये मूज कर तो इंजिन साइडीन मुखार टायर सारे इंटेक्ट टायर अजु बारे आता फाटन तो उजो आया कितलीश्यो गाड़ी अशो शॉर्ट सर्किट जो सो आता शॉर्ट सर्किट जोरान कहीं प्रूफ दिवस शकना आरटीओ कि संगतलो कि चौपा पड़े हजे लेटर आरटीओ घते चौपा अदरवाइज ये एक्चुअली कॉल्ट आगे फाटल उजाला शटर बंद आ दोन व्हीकल सद्या डेमेज दोन व्हीकल सद्या डेमेज घर भर के कहले फायर फायर ब्रिगेड ब्रिगेड फोन मार कि डेमेज एक गाड़ी न एक गाड़ी बुलेट बुलेट घर लसन ओके कित शॉर्ट सर्किट लगे शॉर्ट सर्किट गाड़ी ऑटोमेटिक थी
प्लस घरांक आनी गेल रमेश नायक राउत सुभाषीष गोविकार एन ओमकार देशप्रभू फॉर गोवा थ्री सिक्सटी फाय वील टेक अ शॉर्ट ब्रेक स्टे वीत वेलकम बैक एंड इन सम न्यूज फ्रॉम डेली tensions escalated in the heart of the capital today as clashes erupted between the aam aadmi party and bjp workers over 200 workers from both political factions were detained this afternoon as they marched towards each other's offices on ddu marg according to police reports situation unfolded as elaborate security measures were put in place including multi layer barricades to prevent the workers from reaching their respective party offices an official statement revealed that approximately 150 of workers and 60 bjp workers were detained and transported to separate police stations and buses the aap march comments soon after delhi chief minister arvind kejriwal and punjab chief minister bhagwan man left the protest site urging their party workers to conduct a peaceful protest They instructed the workers to halt wherever the Delhi police intervened. Meanwhile, the BJP's protest was led by its Delhi unit head Virender Sachdeva. Over 1,000 personnel were deployed around ITO and DDU Mark. with two companies of paramilitary forces including women staff and armed personnel from delhi police equipped with anti riot gear and batons protesters were detained around 1:45 pm and taken to separate police stations with the assurance that they would be released after a few hours according to a police officer while up alleges sitting in the chandigarh mural polls the bjp claims its members are protesting near the up head office against alleged corruption in the arvind kejriwal government As tension rises and political clashes unfold, the city remains on edge, awaiting further developments in this volatile situation. Subhashish Kovekar and Sanika Nagvekar for Goa 365. A gas explosion occurred in Kenya's capital Nairobi at around 11:30 p.m. on Thursday, resulting in the death of at least two people and injuring hundreds others. The explosion was reportedly caused by a truck loaded with gas causing extensive damage to the surrounding area with a plume of smoke visible from miles away. The explosion occurred in the industrial area of Embakasi. setting off a massive fire that engulfed homes and warehouses as per some reports a flying gas cylinder hit a nearby warehouse containing garments and textiles reducing it to ashes several other vehicles and businesses were also charred in the massive inferno rescue operation was launched however authorities fear the death toll may rise as more people are discovered in the debris according to the kenya red cross 271 individuals were evacuated to different health centers across Nairobi. I had just a, a commotion outside. I didn't know what was happening. So when when I got outside, I found fire at the rooftop. It was like it was a massive fire. And it was so bad. It was bad experience and I couldn't imagine. So I saw people running um, mothers and children they were they had small babies carrying i saw girls and boys were bleeding like the it was so ter- it was so bad it was a bad experience i saw i saw a man who was bleeding like from the head 
Here's a video showing the damage in the aftermath of the explosion. Manish Parab and Sangeeta Oli for Goa 365. We'll take a short break. Stay with us. Welcome back. Pleasant weather is set to persist on Saturday, courtesy of dry weather and no weather warnings on the horizon. IMD has predicted dry weather to persist at least until February 8. However, Haze shallow fog is expected to persist at scattered places early and late on Saturday, giving residents some winter feels. Here's more. Goa is currently in its winter season, but if residents and tourists are hoping for some chilly weather, they may not be so fortunate. The IMD has forecasted that minimum temperature will remain stable for at least the next five days. However, on a brighter note, clear skies are said to grace the state on Saturday. We can expect temperatures to remain in the comfortable zone with maximum and minimum temperature likely to hover between 31 degrees Celsius and 19 degrees Celsius respectively. Pleasant dry weather predicted for Saturday. Dry conditions to persist until at least February 8. Haze, shallow fog likely at isolated places. Clear skies very likely on Saturday. Minimum temperature to remain stable for next 5 days. Maximum and minimum temperature Saturday 31 degrees Celsius and 19 degrees Celsius. Bureau report Goa 365 with inputs from IMD. With that, we have come to the end of this news bulletin. For more news and updates, log on to our website www.goa365.tv. Follow us on Facebook and YouTube, Goa365 TV. Take care, stay safe and keep watching Goa365.